Yeah. Yeah. Do you like magic? Yeah. Okay, well, because coming up on A Morning, we're going to be doing some magic tricks. Eric Thompson, how you doing? Very good. Thank you very much, Maggie Cox. We have Shane King with us. He's known as the king of magic. Shane, thanks for coming in. You're welcome. And we also have uh, Michael Walsh. Michael Walsh, one of the organizers behind an event called Dry Wit. We've told you about it a few different times. We've been giving some tickets away. It takes place tonight at 7 o'clock, right across the street from us here in downtown Victoria at the McPherson Theatre. And Dry Wit is basically an evening of entertainment and education, the education component. Maybe you can tell us about that right now. Sure. Uh, well, we're bringing 25 organizations together, local organizations, mental health, addiction, and community resource related, and basically just setting up in the foyer of the McPherson and the upper deck, and we're inviting people in recovery, people contemplating recovery, people just looking for information on mental health and addiction resources in Victoria. And also for the general public, a good chance to go and see some great entertainment. We have Shane there and he'll show us some of his work in just a moment. We also have John Gogo performing and a few others. Yeah, absolutely. Nikki Deanne, who just played at Alex Golden Hall uh, last Friday night, will be performing with the Victoria Dance Company. And uh, also Ray Parker, this uh, very wacky British stand-up comic. And the Cheesecake Burlesque Review Show is going to be doing uh, about 20 minutes tonight. Should be a lot of fun. All right, let's talk to uh, Shane King right now for just a moment. Now, you volunteered to come in this morning and show us a magic trick. Have you? Can you just pull something out of your hat or somewhere else, so to speak? Well, what I'm going to show you this morning is something that came about purely by accident. I, I took a trip into my doctor's office for a checkup, and I don't know what he did. He was messing around with the base of my spine. And maybe there's some medical professionals who can help me out how this works. Is there any warning no for this to not try this at home or anything? Well, it is kind of dangerous. <laughs> Watch close. <clears throat> oh. <laughs> Those are some lovely underwear you've got there. Well, that part never actually happened before. I don't know what's going on. <laughs> Shane, what do you like about magic? I like that look on people's faces. <laughs> <laughs> a stunned silence. Yes, um, actually, I, lo I love it because I was able to quit my good government job after 22 years and go full-time into this about eight years ago. And I'm my own boss, and I love it. You also share your knowledge with people who are interested in magic at a local magic shop. Yes, um, I am the manager of Murray's Trick and Joke Shop, and we do have uh, a club for children if they're interested. It's the third Friday of every month at 7 p.m. right at the Magic Store, 688 Broughton Street. All right, Shane King, the King of Magic, he'll be there tonight at the event. And Michael, the reason for putting this event on uh, goes back to uh, a group you started locally, a local chapter of Life Ring Secular Recovery. Tell me a bit about that. Sure. Well, Life Ring is a, um, I would call it an alternative option uh, for people that are struggling with alcohol and drug addiction. It's a, um, it's a secular group, so it is separate from religion. We don't discuss religion or any faith-based stuff in the groups. It's a solution-focused recovery. It's, um, you know, it's a self-help support group, peer-supported, and um, we've got five groups going now in Victoria since uh, January of 2007, uh, 2008, pardon me, and um, yeah, it's just become a very viable option in Victoria. And one of the things that you told me when I spoke to you about this recently is that people, whether it's uh, their own addiction they're dealing with or it's a family member, uh, fear and shame come into it, and an event like Dry Wit tonight gives people an opportunity to just walk in without you know, just anonymously, so to speak, and, and get some information if they need it. Absolutely. Well, um, Gordon Harper mentioned uh, just a couple of days ago, it's kind of like a, like a mini, um, kind of a, you know, um, uh, trade show kind yeah. of thing, if you will. Kind he's of with an one exhibit. of those groups, uh, Umbrella. Yeah, like he's, with, he's with Umbrella. And, um, and basically, yeah, you just go in and, you know, you check out the resources that are available. It's a non-threatening environment. And uh, the best part about it is going to be the, uh, the second half, which is going to be the entertainment portion. All right, well, thank you both very much for coming in. We've got some tickets to give away. Island Contest at ATV.ca. Just send us an email in the subject line, put dry wit, and we'll leave a couple of tickets for you here at A British Columbia in Victoria. More still to come. It's Friday. Stay with us.